So here we are looking up inside of the bell. This is the small bell. And you can see the clapper here. Uh, overall, the clapper's in good condition. Uh, that's not a very big uh, strike point on the clapper, which is good. So that's in good condition there. Uh, you see up there on top, there's a cotter pin and a clevis pin that holds the clapper in place. So that's all in good shape. Uh, this item here is called the clapper spring. Uh, that has a matching spring on the other side as well. I did want to show you the clapper spring. The clapper spring's job is to catch the clapper before it hits the bell. So the clapper comes over, the spring catches it, and the spring is supposed to be stiff. And the clapper spring, it keeps the clapper from hitting the bell with its full force. And then it also springs it springs back and it's supposed to push the clapper back the other direction so it doesn't bounce on the bell. As you'll notice here, the clapper spring is essentially not, well, it's not doing its job. The clapper spring is very loose. The clapper has uh, absolutely nothing uh, to alleviate its full strike as it comes against the bell. So this clapper spring might as well not even be there. This clapper spring, it also is hitting the bell. You don't want the clapper spring to hit the bell. So you can see that bolt up on the right. It, it's supposed to be holding this clapper spring tight. And you can see I could, I, I may even be able, if I tried hard enough, to pull that clapper spring out. Uh, so that's not good. Uh, that clapper spring should be stiff. It should, uh, it should not give at all. And uh, really, again, this clapper spring essentially is not doing anything to protect the bell. If a bell cr gets cracked, it's typically going to crack because it's getting hit too hard by the clapper. And again, this one is the same way. Uh, that should not be happening. It's hitting the bell. The clapper spring should not hit the bell. So uh, these clapper springs are probably as old as the bell. Uh, the bolts up there, you see the bolts? They are uh, square-headed bolts, which just indicates how old they are. Uh, typically, bolts these days are hex head. So really, this whole assembly uh, should... Uh, be replaced sometime soon. You see the clapper uh, swaying from side to side. That's not a terrible thing. Uh, but again, the clapper should be somewhat firm in there and not have a whole lot of wiggle back and forth. Um, so again, just a, an older headpiece. That round piece up on top is called the headpiece. Uh, the clapper is captured in the clevis and then the pin goes through the clevis and uh, the clapper springs from that pin. So really the major point is these clapper springs are just really old and uh, need to be replaced.